Let's move on to other stories. The Regreening Africa Project seeks to promote simple land restoration practices to help improve livelihoods, food security, and resilience to climate change for smallholder farmers. Implemented by World Vision Ghana in the northern part of the country, it has helped many peasant farmers to restore their degraded lands and earn more income from their farming activities. For our climate focus today, Upper East correspondent Albert Sori speaks to Sheikh Ahmed Bashir, a beneficiary of the Regreening Africa project. Over the years, severe and prolonged dry seasons, overgrazing, rampant bushfires, and the indiscriminate felling of trees have impacted negatively on the weather and climate in many parts of Ghana. This has also translated to an increased decline in forest cover, loss of indigenous biodiversity, and decreased soil fertility. It is even more serious in the northern parts of Ghana where the climate is harsher due to fewer tree populations. The poor peasant farmers like Sheikh Ahmed Bashiru here are having to bear the brunt of the unfavorable weather pattern. Bashiru is a peasant farmer in the Warianga community in the Garu district of the Upper East region. He is passionate about farming and growing trees. Bashiru grows vegetables such as onions, pepper, garden eggs and tomatoes in the dry season for sale. He also raises seedlings for sale. Tree growing and then dry seasoning gardening. That is what I've been doing all my life. Based on the work I'm doing here and with the help of World Vision supporting me with funds and other materials such as poly bags that I need to raise my seedling, I have been able to employ seven workers consisting of four women and seven men who also help me here to raise the seedlings. I pay them. Sheikh Ahmed Bashiru is a beneficiary of the Regreening Africa project being implemented by World Vision Ghana in the Garu, Timpani, and Boku West districts. Before the arrival of the Regreening Africa project to the Warianga community, Bashiru's land had almost lost its fertility and he faced many difficulties in his farming activities. So the project supported him grow economic trees such as mangoes and cashew on his one hectare land. Before the intervention of World well Vision, I had a lot of challenges. I didn't have enough seedlings to plant. When I do my gardens, because there's no protection, animal comes in and then they destroy them. But with the support of World Vision, I got fencing material. And World Vision has supported me with seven different kinds of tree seedlings consisting of mahogany, cashew, kapok, moringa, mangoes. And these ones, I have planted them on the field. Today, he says, he and his family are economically empowered. These trees are now bearing fruits, which I harvest to sell and also use the seeds to raise seedlings. These seedlings, World Vision comes to buy to distribute to other farmers. I also sell some to people who are interested. I am getting a lot of money, which is helping me to take care of my children in their education. I am also able to take care of the family needs in terms of their feeding and then hospital bills. The Regreening Africa project seeks to promote land restoration practices to help improve livelihoods, food security, and resilience to climate change for smallholder farmers in the Garu, Timpani, and Boko West districts of the Upper East region, as well as the Mion district of the Northern region. It is a European-funded project being implemented in African countries. Joshua Adumbiri is a World Vision Project Officer on the Regreening Africa project. 
So the Regreening Africa project started in the year 2017 and it has ended in 2023. The project uh, has been very keen on uh, restoring degraded lands in the communities. So apart from this uh, community nursery gardeners uh, who are helping raise seedlings for us to distribute freely to community members, they are also raising these seedlings and selling them out, which they make money to earn a living from it. We have also been able to bring on board our local partners. We have the Department of Food and Agriculture, the National Disaster Management, we have uh, the Ghana Education Service, the Ministry of Health, and we have come together to form a formidable team who are championing these works at the community level. We are doing this for the sake of sustainability. For Joy News, Albert Sorry, Warianga, Garo District.